this video, we're going to take a brief tour of another one of the plugins that's available to you as an OCALC Pro user. Um, this plugin needs to be acquired by contacting your OCALC representative because it's a little more complicated than some of them. But what it allows you to do is to display your PPLX, your poll data, in the context of geospatial data in the form of shapefiles. So it's the uh, shapefile tab. So if we go to tools, or excuse me, options, manage plugins, and turn on the shapefile plugin, you get this new tab, this shapefiles tab. And what it allows you to do is to render as you would expect shapefiles. So here's a folder where I've got some shapefile data. And let's take a look here. I've got some hydrography. I've got some uh, roads data, and I've got um, some primary roads, and that's that's let's let's call that good enough for now. I've also got some area data and so on and so forth. Um, once I have these various layers loaded up, I can move them up and down, so I can change them in this list, and I can also change their colors. So I'm going to make the primary roads. Let's make them sort of this burnt orange color. And let's make the other roads this uh, green. And let's make my hydrography blue. That seems appropriate. And now I've got my shapefile data loaded up. And I can zoom in and out with the wheel. I can pan around with the right mouse button. And once I have all my layers loaded and I have them in the order that I want them, I can save them out as uh, what's called a project file. So I'll go File, Save Project, and I'm going to call this temp like that. Save. So let's take a look at one that's, that I spent a little more time loading up. I'm going to open this project file. I'm going to go to Los Angeles, and there's my la.project file. And so I have text layers, I have uh, polygons, I have all my roads, and my roads have labels. And so the next thing I can do is I can say I want to overlay on top of this um, a collection of poles. It's easy enough, as all the poles that I want are gathered together into a folder or a set of folders. I just go to Poles, Show Poles, and I pick the folder where I Want them to be now what it's going to ask me is do i want to include subdirectories so if i have hierarchically organized my pplx files into a series of folders below that folder i would say yes otherwise i say no it goes ahead and it does the fast index operation which will be covered in another video and you know then i have my set of polls loaded up there's my poll ids and they are land base correct and you know, let's go up here. Oh, actually, there's an interesting one. So they get color coded based on their um, how how loaded they are. So if I pick on one, what it does is goes ahead and loads that poll up and recalculates it for me. And I get, and and as expected, it is in fact overloaded. And so what I get is sort of a mini GIS system. It is not nearly as capable, of course, as a real GIS would be and it's all file based but if you just need a quick and dirty way to represent a set of polls on top of asset data that you have in the form of shape files the shapefile viewer which is available both as a plugin and as a standalone tool um, is a very convenient and quick way to do that 